Launch director. Launch vehicle is ready to launch. Mission director. Three. You have permission to launch. We have ignition of the RS 68A main engine. And we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV heavy rocket. Excuse. And we have indication of spacecraft separation. seconds. Status. Go Delta. Seconds. Go NROL 82. Fifteen seconds. Row for ignition. Ten. Nine. Yes, T minus ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. <laughs> two. One. And. Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV Heavy Rocket carrying the NROL 82 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. You go on the pitch over maneuver? Parameters look good on all three cores. Core booster is now throttling down to the partial thrust level. Partial thrust achieved. You are hearing the voice of Rob Kesselman providing launch vehicle ascent data. Now, 50 seconds into flight, vehicle is 3 miles in altitude, 5 miles downrange distance, traveling at 970 miles per hour. All vehicle systems look good at this time. Now, at T plus 80 seconds, vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Mach 1, vehicle is now supersonic. All three RS-68 looks healthy at this time. Vehicle systems continue to be healthy. Strap-on boosters are now throttling down to the partial thrust level. Strap-on booster cut, uh, cut off and separation of the strap-on boosters. Core booster is now throttling back up. Core booster is operating as expected at the 100% thr throttle level. And we have Biko, first stage main engine cutoff. We have stage separation. NED's deployment has begun. Pre-start on the RL-10. We have ignition on the RL-10, that's one. We have indication of successful payload fairing jettison. This year, the National Reconnaissance Office celebrates its 60th anniversary. From its inception in 1961, the NRO has used its incredible intelligence collection capabilities to meet the nation's challenges. Let's take a look back at the agency that has pushed the envelope of U.S. space-based intelligence collection with courage and ingenuity.